readers, today you're going to be using the information that you have already learned about some characters in our story to determine their character traits. And to do this work today, we're going to be using Tilly and Mr. Keen from A Fine, Fine School. Before we start that though, we need a couple of things to help us do this work. Okay, so we're gonna have our reading journal out. I'm gonna flip to my independent reading section. I have my chart that I've been filling out this week as I've been reading. And on my next page, I'm going to tape in, or you can glue if you choose, a character traits chart. And then also, the chart that's posted in today, how we can develop inferences. And inferences are simply what we think a character might be feeling or thinking based on what the author tells us. Okay, the author doesn't necessarily tell us the character is happy. We have to do a little inferring. We have to say, okay, well, Tilly was happy to go to school. She didn't seem upset. She liked playing with her little brother and her dog. So we are going to infer that Tilly was happy. Okay, so that's what infer means. We'll take what the author gives us and kind of come up with our own idea. Okay, what we think is happening or how the character is feeling or what the character might be thinking. Okay, so I've put those two charts in there. Let me zoom in so we can take a closer look at these. Okay, so on our character chart, it's worked out by synonyms. Okay, so up at the top it says nice, which is kind of an everyday word that we might use. But then underneath, it gives us some more interesting words that also mean nice, okay? It might go a little more in depth and give us a little bit more understanding about our character, okay? Your character could be helpful or friendly or kind-hearted or compassionate, pleasant, thoughtful, agreeable, or courteous. So your character could be doing any of these things and be considered nice. But all of these things are a little bit different, okay? Same thing with mean, happy, sad, smart, brave, tricky, funny, mad, scared, thankful, clumsy, active, shy, and talkative. Now one thing that I just noticed, and I'm going to add this on to here, feel free to add it on to yours. We had appreciative when we talked about our character traits, but under shy, I'm going to add in timid, because we learned that word and I want to make sure that I remember to use it. We also had Okay, so I want to make sure. And then for our readers develop inferences chart, it's just some steps. This one's kind of small, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. We had some steps on how to come up with our inference. Okay, so step one is noticing clues about the character in the text. And we've already done this a little bit by determining what the character says, does, and feels. Okay. okay, and step two is combining the clues with what they already know about people like this. And that's using your background knowledge, information you know from your life that can help you figure out things from your story. Okay, for example, we've used this already with the feelings, right? The author didn't tell us that Tilly felt happy. We had to use what we know about people who are smiling, enjoy going to school, enjoy playing with their little brothers or sisters, right? So we already used our background knowledge and we combined the clues together, okay? So we've already done step one and step two this week. Today, we're gonna to be doing step three, 
which is stating a character trait. And we have to use inferences. So we have to put together these things and decide what we think that character's trait is. Okay, so we can look at this little chart down here. We have, it says, that's what the author in the book story is actually telling us, what the character says, what the character does, if they tell us how they feel or we've determined it, some background knowledge. So the book is saying this, I know this about these kind of people. So then you're gonna make your inference. So I think, and then you're going to fill that in, okay? So to do this work, let me flip over to my chart. I'm gonna focus on Tilly to show you how to do this, and then you're going to do this work with Mr. Keen. Okay, so as I finished reading the story, I added a few more things to my chart. So I have that Tilly goes into Mr. Keen's office, remember? And she tells him that not everyone is learning. And then she goes on to explain how her dog doesn't learn things, how her little brother's not learning things, how she's not learning things outside of school. Okay. And then I also added that she has to start going to school on the weekends and that she had to go to school over the summer. And then I jotted over here because she changes how she feels. She wasn't happy anymore. She was unhappy. She was sad that she was at school all the time and that she didn't really like it. Okay, so now this is what the story is telling me. I have to think what I know about these people. Okay, I know that at first she's happy to go to school and then she's unhappy. So I'm going to make two different character traits. Okay. So this last column that I told you we would get to later in the week, we are going to title traits, okay? And I'm gonna use my chart that I just taped into my journal to help me come up with my character trait, okay? So for my first one, I knew Tilly was happy. She got to go to school, she got to play on the weekends. So looking at my chart, I have, let's see, cheerful, joyful, excited, satisfied, content, delighted, pleased, and glad. You know what? I'm going to use joyful. So that's going to be the first character trait that Tilly shows in this book. She was very joyful with the things in her life, that she got to go to school, that she got to play on the weekends. Okay. However, Tilly changed in the middle of this story. Right? When they started having to go to school all the time, Tilly became unhappy and sad. So I'm going to look at my chart, and for sad we have depressed, serious, gloomy, miserable, unhappy, discouraged, sorrowful, and mournful. Well, I've already used unhappy, so I don't want to carry that word over. I want to try and use a new, more interesting word. I'm going to use miserable. Okay, because Tilly was kind of miserable when she didn't get to play at home. Okay, so did you guys see how I used the information I already had? what my character was saying, doing, and feeling throughout the story, kind of put all those together and came up with her character traits. All right. Now I want you to do the same thing for Mr. Keene. So you're going to read back through your chart, what Mr. Keene is saying, what Mr. Keene is doing, how Mr. Keene is feeling, and then come up with some character traits for Mr. Keene. And as you can see here, I have that he felt different at different times in the story. So Mr. Keene, just like Tilly, is going to end up having more than one character trait for this story. 
All right, and when you are finished coming up with your character traits for Mr. Keen, you are going to submit this chart to me today in Canvas.